What's up, guys? So, when it comes to getting a gear set up, especially for any of you that may be watching this that are really just starting to get into getting set up and getting prepared, and you're getting to the gear phase, there's a lot out there. It can be overwhelming. And you can dump a ton of money into trying to get stuff, right? And it's easy to get caught up in what all the cool kids are putting out and showing and what you see on social media and YouTube and everywhere else. And there's some good stuff out there. In my opinion, there's some stuff out there that's good quality but not necessarily relevant for what we're talking about in our context. But what I wanted to show you guys real quick is, and keep in mind, I'm... I make gear for a living. It's what my business is. You can have a good gear set up that will be perfectly functional and serve you well without blowing a lot of money. And oddly enough, this is kind of self-defeating in a way, what I'm going to show you isn't my stuff. I'm obviously proud of my stuff, but so the two things that I always say you need to have when it comes to your defensive fighting loadout. You need some kind of a rig, be it a belt rig, chest rig, whatever, to carry things in, carry ammo in for your rifle, etc. And you need a backpack. Those are the two things. You gotta have those two. Everything else is icing on the cake after that. But if you got those two things, you're, you're pretty well covered, right? Start getting into a lot of money. Start getting a lot of money real quick. What I want to show you today is just an option that I want to toss out for your consideration if you're looking for something. Kind of a, a gear loadout on the cheap. I started to say a starter's loadout, but honestly, this could be for anybody, whether you're you know experienced, whether you're just starting out, whether you're want to have an extra setup to hand to somebody, whatever. And you can do it relatively cost effectively and actually have really good quality stuff. So if you go back and look, I did a video on this pack right here. This is the Direct Action Gear Ghost Mark II pack. That to me is a great pack for you to have for defensive use. I'm not talking about a bug out bag, I'm not talking about a get home bag, I'm not talking about anything like that. This is for defensive uses for, for fighting, right? This is a great pack to have. One of the cool things about that pack is the waist belt is a Molly waist belt that's removable. One of the things they give you with the pack is a set of suspenders where you can remove the waist belt from the pack, attach the suspenders to it, and you've got kind of a modern iteration of an old school LBE setup. And I put this together just with extra stuff I had in one of the, one of the old uh, gear bins. And I want to show you guys. So this is the shoulder harness that, uh, the suspenders rather, that comes with the backpack. And this is the belt. And I've taken it off the, the backpack. And all I've done is put two double USGI surplus mag pouches and two uh, surplus GI uh, canteen pouches. This gives me the ability to carry four magazines on here and then two pouches that I can use. These work well as general purpose pouches, um, canteen pouches, whatever. There's a lot of uses for these. You can find surplus pouches like this at surplus stores, eBay, etc. for relatively cheap. Um, you can find the canteen pouches, you can find the smaller and larger zippered um, saw, mag, uh, saw box pouches, you can get the uh, GI issued uh, IFAC pouches. Again, there's, there's a, a plethora of that stuff available and you can usually get it fairly cheap. So just by buying this pack and a couple of pouches off eBay, you can have a complete setup for probably under $200 depending on you know how, how you go with the 
with the uh, mag pouches and stuff. And again, you don't have to have a lot. Uh, again, this is just two double mag pouches. I can put four mags on here, plus one in the gun, that's five. And then if I wanted a couple more, I could put a couple more in the pack for, for uh, resupply. And then just a couple of GP pouches for miscellaneous stuff. I've still got some room where I could put other stuff on the belt if I wanted to, but you don't have to. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can keep it simple like this. Um, keep in mind too now, the way they make this belt is for use with the pack and it doesn't, like on me, it only comes around about right here. And then you've just got the, uh, the front strap in the front. So if you're expecting it to come all the way around the front, it's not going to do that. On most people. Now, if you've got a really, 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 really skinny waist, then it very well may go all the way around. But medium to big sized people, it's probably only going to come right to the front of your hips. But that's okay because then that still keeps your, your front side open, um, gives good mobility and, and good comfort. Again, you don't have to have 500 pouches on here. And this uh, suspender setup is actually really, really nice uh, that Direct Action gives you with the pack. It's got plenty of adjustment in it. Um, I got plenty of adjustment left in the back. Nice thing too is they put a piece of elastic in the back of the shoulder harness here, but it's got overstop webbing sewn into it. So what that does is it allows it to stretch, but the webbing will stop it and keep it from overstretching and tearing out the, uh, the elastic. So it gives you a little bit of shock absorption, but without the risk of it tearing apart on you. And this is all sewed together really good. I mean, they've got good, uh, good box X stitching on the, on the attachment points. All the same thing that I would do if, if I was sewing it myself. So point being with this, with just this direct action ghost pack, and a couple of uh, surplus pouches, you can have a complete fighting loadout ready to go. Add rifle mags and supplies and, psh, and you're set. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Don't feel overwhelmed. Um, you can get a good setup. And yes, I can make mag pouches in my, my uh, stuff for you. If you were to decide to go that route, we can, we can get you set up with that. That's not a problem. But you can also go the surplus route and do it on a budget, set it up just how you want it. Um, some really good, really good options there. So take a look at that. Hope maybe that helps somebody out. Biggest thing is to get out there and get trained. Get your gear ready, and then train with your gear. Stay safe. I'll see you later.